Have you ever dreamed of soaring through the sky? In Greek mythology, Daedalus, a brilliant inventor, crafted wings from feathers and wax for him and his son Icarus to escape imprisonment. Daedalus warned his son Icarus not to fly too close to the sun or the sea. Drunk on the thrill of flight, Icarus soared high, ignoring his father's warning. The sun's heat melted the wax and Icarus fell to his death in the sea. This tale serves as a cautionary reminder of the dangers of ambition and ignoring good advice. Ladies, gentlemen, and all those in between or undecided, in today's episode of Mythology Matters, we'll hear the legend of Icarus. Welcome to Bronze Age Greece. Daedalus was no ordinary man. His reputation as a master inventor and craftsman preceded him throughout Greece. From awe-inspiring sculptures that seemed to breathe life into stone, to labyrinth-like structures that confound the mind. Daedalus's creation sparked both admiration and a hint of trepidation. But his brilliance would soon lead him down a path fraught with danger. Through a twist of fate and a grave mistake involving the powerful King Minos of Crete, Daedalus and his son Icarus found themselves trapped on the very island Daedalus himself had designed. A labyrinth so intricate. Escape seemed like no more than a mere fantasy. Imprisoned within the labyrinth's high walls, Daedalus felt a crushing despair. He, the architect of marvels, was now trapped within his own creation. He was a man of exceptional intellect and unwavering spirit, and he refused to surrender to his fate. Days turned into weeks, and Daedalus spent countless hours observing the gulls gracefully gliding on the wind currents. A spark of inspiration ignited within him. Could he, the master inventor, defy the limitations of man and mimic the flight of these feathered creatures to craft a means of escape? The seed of a daring plan was sown. With meticulous care and focus, Daedalus embarked on a clandestine project. He gathered thousands of feathers, their colors shimmering in the sunlight. Using thread and a special wax he had formulated, he painstakingly bound the feathers together, slowly forming two magnificent wings. These were not simply decorative feathered contraptions, they were works of art imbued with the hope of freedom. A mixture of excitement and trepidation flickered in Icarus's eyes. A young man on the cusp of experiencing something extraordinary, something no man had ever experienced before. Flight. Daedalus, however, felt a heavy weight on his heart. He knew the risks involved, the delicate balance between freedom and disaster. With a deep breath, he placed a warning hand on his son's shoulder. As the first rays of dawn painted the sky with streaks of pink and orange, the weight of their hope, as heavy as the wings themselves, pressed down upon them. Daedalus, his voice filled with both hope and caution, issued a crucial warning. He emphasized the dangers of flying too close to the sun, for the wax binding the feathers would surely melt. He also cautioned against flying too low near the sea, as the feathers would become heavy and waterlogged. Taking a deep breath and with hearts pounding with anticipation, they launched themselves off the cliff, defying gravity with a single, powerful leap. The wind rushed against their faces, a feeling of pure exhilaration coursing through them. They were flying. Below them, the island of Crete shrunk, transformed into a distant maze. As they soared above the clouds, bathed in the golden light of the rising sun, a sense of pure freedom washed over them. Icarus, young and filled with boundless energy, reveled in his newfound power. He dipped and soared, mimicking the playful movements of the gulls they had observed for so long. The vast expanse of the Aegean Sea stretched out before him, dotted with emerald islands and shimmering turquoise waters. He felt closer to the gods than ever before. Daedalus, however, watched his son with a mixture of pride and growing concern. He spotted the glint of recklessness in Icarus's eyes, a disregard for the warnings he had issued just moments before. Time and time again, Daedalus called out to Icarus, reminding him to maintain a safe distance from the sun's scorching heat. Icarus, stay close. Don't fly too high, he would shout from a distance. But Icarus, intoxicated by the thrill of flight and the feeling of limitless power, 
ignored his father's pleas. He ascended higher and higher, drawn towards the sun's radiant warmth. The wax on his wings began to soften, a faint sizzle reaching his ears. But Icarus, lost in his euphoria, was oblivious to the danger. Blinded by his ambition and the intoxicating allure of the sun, Icarus continued his ascent. The once vibrant feathers on his wings began to droop, the wax clinging to them turning molten and dripping away. A horrifying realization dawned on Icarus. He had flown too close, ignoring his father's warnings. Desperate to regain control, Icarus flapped his wings with all his might, but the air offered no resistance. Icarus plummeted towards the unforgiving sea below, a helpless figure against the endless blue canvas around him. Daedalus watched in horror as his son's descent unfolded before his eyes. His warnings, his pleas, all went unheeded in the face of Icarus's reckless ambition. A strangled cry escaped his lips as he witnessed the inevitable. The once joyous flight had turned into a nightmare. Daedalus, his heart heavy with grief, searched tirelessly for any sign of Icarus. He eventually found only a few scattered feathers floating on the surface of the sea, a heartbreaking testament to his son's tragic fate. Overcome with despair, Daedalus built a tomb for Icarus on a small, desolate island, forever haunted by the memory of his son's fall. The legend of Icarus serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of balance and the dangers of unchecked ambition. While striving for our dreams is essential, we must also remember the importance of caution and respect for our own limitations. The story of Daedalus and Icarus continues to resonate with us today, urging us to soar for our goals but never to lose sight of the potential consequences. The myth of Daedalus and Icarus reminds us that even the greatest dreams require balance and respect for limitations. What are your thoughts on Icarus's ambition? Did his yearning for flight outweigh the potential consequences? Share your theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this legend, you'll find the full Mythology Matters playlist in the pinned comments. Have a look for more captivating stories. Hit that like button to show your love for this video, and please subscribe to Comlin Publishing to see what exciting stories await you next. Speaking of flying too close to the sun, have you ever wondered what could go wrong on an interstellar voyage to a distant star? In our next video, you can listen to our original sci-fi audio adaptation, Echoes of Icarus, An Interstellar Dilemma. This tale explores the perils of interstellar travel when a malfunction aboard a colony ship threatens the lives of its passengers. Will they survive their unintended detour towards a fiery demise? Click the video shown on screen now, sit back and enjoy this chilling tale inspired by the legend of Icarus. Until then, thanks for joining us on Mythology Matters.